Thank you. Thanks for having me. Welcome, Tom. Have you kicked a memorable barrel before in a game? Uh, no, definitely not in a game. Oh, that's drop punt range for him. Kick that great goal on a Friday night. After the yeah, siren. Six, was it? Yeah. Against yeah. Hawks? Well, which one? Has there been a few? Yeah. No, I've, I've actually I've kicked one and missed one after siren. But no, I'm not really a taut man, but um, that was sweet. Did it feel good? Uh, I'll tell you what felt great is that I've always asked for a torp licence and Dimmer's got a torp licence where you can hand it out of training if you got it. And I don't have mine. And I thought, bugger it. How do you get it? Or if you kick good torps to training, I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> that was the biggest wobbler of all it time. It was, wasn't it? Um, but I, I, I did enjoy the fact that I had one up on him now. I go, I've got my torp licence because I've kicked it in the game. So. But what about the emotion after it? To be honest, I mean, it's a big game of footy. Yeah. They're not a bad team, Western Bulldogs. It was pretty tight. To, yeah, they, to kick that and see the reaction. Yeah. They come it pretty hard awesome. for us in the third quarter. Um, and, I mean, at the moment, we live the... Richmond live the yo-yo life in, yeah. in the media. We're up and we're down, we're hot and we're cold. And if we'd lost on uh, that game, apparently our season was over. So, um, great to uh, have a win. No. Jeez, I reckon it was 60, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, I mean, Who touched that there? Do you think the umpire was a bit... Oh, his OK good luck was classic. I didn't actually even catch that live. <laughs> oh, that so was brilliant. Um, but, I don't uh, think he really thought you were getting it. No, nah, no. Nah, I, I don't even know why I told him I was kicking a tour. <laughs> but, um, no, nah, it was good. It was, it was, I had three shots after the siren on the weekend. One at oh, half time, yeah. one at three-quarter time, and one after the game. So... Um, luckily enough, knocked that one home. Everyone's been running the comparison with Nick because you're dead level. We were wondering where the two of you are against each other. And as it turns out, we're posing the question at exactly the right time. You have played the same number of games. Yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty incredible. We've, um, yeah. we've shared a, uh, a long journey together and it's, and it's sort of started uh, a year before when we first met um, as 17-year-olds. So um, who would have thought in our 16th season we'd each played... 307 games and... Same draft? Same yep, draft, same, yep. same draft. I can so. remember my, my first memories of Tom were when he dominated at the under-18 carnival, but even prior to that, um, it was this kid that come down... For, is it Finley's? Yeah, Finley, that come yeah. down to play um, APS or one of the school colleges down here and was dominating on the school scene over here and it just starts to build that and Basher Hawley was the other one. Mm. It was this big guy that had nearly a beard at 17 years mm. of age. It was kicking bags for the Western Jets. So it's sort of like those mythical blokes that you never meet when you're from Tasmania. But then, obviously, uh, 16 years later. I thought you were going to say, oh, I had the beard. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 certainly not. Basher had an unbelievable <laughs> junior footy record. He was he, phenomenal. Great careers, both of you. So 30 goals between you. And you've got him on all Australians and you've got him by a whisker on just about every other count. And the ultimate tiebreaker, as it turns out, is the 2020 Grand Final. So yes, and, uh, very unless lucky that either of you get Hang on, there. it could be this year. It could be. Uh, the tiebreaker could be this year, the way <laughs> these two teams are going. So you're the key forwards of the day. <laughs> The push is in vogue, as I hope you'll be push, shocked yeah, to know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, maybe you run the eye over this first. Yeah, right, right. Umpire, yeah. umpire revolt. <laughs> well, I got my key forward hat on or off yeah, yeah, the moment. So your <laughs> gut feeling as to whether Come you on. think you get away with this or not. <laughs> um, oh, 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 oh. I don't know. I don't, oh. mind, I don't mind it. It is in the back. Harris has come forward with nearly the freestyle there to make sure that you, you knew, but... 
That's probably a free kick, isn't it? <laughs> Just. No, it's a free kick. It, it is. A, it, 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 to be honest, it's a well, free it's kick. it's not a free kick because it wasn't paid. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. But these and things happen in footy. They do. Did you yeah. think, in your heart of hearts, Tom? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you've got to come show. on this show sometime. <laughs> show. And I often say, gun to your yeah, head, tell the, the truth. You had to swear, put your hand on the ball and swear yeah. and tell the well, truth. I, I think what, it, did you push the, him in the back? Well, the vision clearly shows me looking, trying to track down the umpire <laughs> to see which way he'd put his hand. But I, I, look, it, it probably is. But it's it's the art of and, and, and the position of playing yeah. as a key forward or playing those key posts. Um, whether it was or not, it, probably, let's say it is, yep. um, it wasn't called on the night. You sort of... Is that other why you week, kicked, it really, week, so what, you yeah, kicked well, it really quick? Well, I missed a couple pre- previously, so I was pretty keen. To, it was like, get it, get it out of the was, play, get it back in the center. I was pretty keen to go, I want So David Noble sat in that chair last night and he said it's 50-50 whether it gets paid. Is yeah. there an element of a gamble in it? You go, oh, well, 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 let's see which side of the 50-50 we have. Yeah, well, I, th- I think it is. And and certainly the, the umpire said to us on the, on the night that our, both our momentum was going forward. Whether or not... Um, you know, Harris has gone forward. He's, he's you know, 9,500 kilos. Um, I certainly don't push that weight round in the gym that easily, but um, it's just, I don't know. It, you get him some weeks, others you don't. I probably, I probably won't get him for a while, but... Um, <laughs> no, I, you're in trouble now, then. You reckon? Yeah, you're in trouble. If so. you ask any forward in the competition, 50-50 are great odds. Yeah. We are, yeah, yeah. forwards so are risk takers. It's like if you run to a, an aerial contest and you're a small player, I'm running forward. And my backman then has to play me. So 50-50, we like those Jack, odds. I wish you were going to... I knew you were going to say that. Because I would replay that right now when you jumped in the air, yeah, that one, missed the ball, and you went <laughs> in the back. Yeah, yeah. No doubt it's in the backlog there somewhere. So I got a free slab out of that, though. I think I won Rascal of the Year for that. Did summer. you really? Yeah, you won your own sure. award? I know. No, Did Bob, Bob gave it to me. Gave it to me. We need to ask you... We ask you all the time on the bump, Jack, so we probably don't need to listen to you for a second. Perfect. Yeah. What did you think... When you saw the Ryder incident, are you very yeah. much aware now, Tom? And you've had troubles in the with the MRO in the past, yeah. Champ, let's be honest. Yeah. So when you say that, do you think that's gone or do you think that's a 50-50? Look, I, I thought that was 50-50. I, it, it, it was a really hard one to analyse, but it's, it's really clear that the AFL and players um, want to take any concussion out, out of the game. So... Um, there's a concussed player as a, as a result of it. I think as players, we just we just have to keep up to to what's happening in the game, or you kind of get left behind in a, in a way. So, um, we well, don't play. Was it two weeks? You don't play. Was it two Tom. weeks? It I'm, two not, I'm not hundred yeah. percent sure it's two, but it's um, the result is that that um, the Will Day's concussed and he, he misses two weeks of footy. So, so, what, so what are you going to do if you're in that situation and you're a robust player? Yeah. Right. More than say the new Jack. You you were sort of a body sort of. Player. Are you now in your head thinking I've got to stop? I've, I can't even get myself in that position in front of him. Yeah, and it's this is really hard to do. These are split se- uh, second decisions that you've got to make. But I, I think it's clear that you you have to try and avoid contact if if you can. Uh, and it's going to be really hard for players moving forward. But. The result is is you you suspended for two weeks, so yeah. it's it's a tricky one and it's going to be hard to adapt. But I think as players, how does that just... sit with you for you to say we have to avoid contact? Being a guys have been around for how many years? Sixteen. Sixteen. Well, well that's a result, huge change, isn't it? The, the result is is evident by the players that are having issues post career with concussion or have been forced to retire because of concussion. So the evidence is there. Um, we, we just have to adapt and, and change as our game evolves, like we've done with other rules that have, that have been implemented, um, you know, either start of the season or then in season mm. as a result of, of something that's happened. So it's a tricky one, but, yeah, I, I just think that the answer is that we've got to just keep trying to evolve. Can you just help me out? I've tried to listen to a lot around this, and those there are really <laughs> serious minds who want to apportion some culpability to Will Day in that. I can't what, what, see that. What culpability would they have with that? Yeah, I, I can't. I, I'm absolutely. Sometimes it's, I'm just. Lost I think it's I just pretty simple. It's probably rather than going with the shoulder, like just use the use your yeah. palms. Well, you, no, no chance of knocking him out if you just push him. Is that what Tim English did a little bit? You think? I haven't seen yeah, him. To be honest, I've watched okay. it close enough. But um, just the, the, as soon as you turn the shoulder, um, or you choose to jump, or anything like that. You, you, you bring in the factor that 
some people will get knocked out in different ways and have different parts of their body and may have whiplash and may hit the ground after a bump. It's, it's, you, you, you're basically risking the other player getting injury. So use your pumps. I've never asked you this. Have you been knocked out? Or have, if you, Mate, how many times? Yeah, remember I got knocked out and crawled up the stairs? Crawled up the stairs. Oh, that, I thought like that was just normal activity for you <laughs> at that stage of your career. Uh, Other than that? No, nah, I got... I got um, I got one against St Kilda. I've had two against St Kilda, and I had one as a as a junior, so three. Have you, Tom? Yeah, I've only had one, so I've I've sort of come out of it okay so far. Are you concerned, Jack, with all the the medical expertise coming out now about CTE? Are you in any way concerned about your life post footy? Oh, oh, no. Do you ever think about it? Uh, n- no, no, not at the moment. No, but I. I I have done, I've done like protocol testing and outside of the norm as well to make sure that like I'm, I'm still yeah, okay, yeah. okay and functioning well. But um, I mean, you, you, yeah, you probably, if I had another couple or one or two, I'd probably start to get a bit worried. Are you heartened with the way you've started the season, Tom? Yeah, it's been really pleasing um, as, as a team to sit uh, three and one. Um, things could have been a lot different had we not finished the game well against Collingwood um, and things had gone our way or, or gone against us against Brisbane. It's uh, I, sit, I would sit here in a completely different position being one and three. So, look, we're really pleased, particularly the way that we played on the weekend against a really good side. We play at our home ground, which we, which we play really well, but just our style and connection that we, we played both sides of the footy was really pleasing. Um, Are you happy to have it coming in a bit quicker? It is nice. Yeah, yeah but look, we, uh, if you analyse the way that we're kicking our goals as well, it's not so much the fact that we, you know, we're moving the ball with a bit more freedom, but it's also the way that we're attacking it. I mentioned we're playing both sides of the ball really well. Um, and a lot of our scoring opportunities and chains are coming off the back of our defensive work. So that's the most pleasing thing for us, that, that we're getting looks at it from both directions. When, um, when we have a discussion, and there's you, you're in ripping form, Tom. When we have, see discussions on goal kicking, and Aaron Norton's been a, a key person in that part of the discussion this week, do you think back, God, <laughs> I remember <laughs> when I used to be a pretty inconsistent goal kicker. Does it take age to get yourself a rhythm that holds you in pretty good stead? The, the, Jack, art, of, the, the, the art of goal, goal kicking is um, is very different for different pl- players and different people. Now, I think Jack and I probably kick differently and we probably have different things that we like to, to focus on. But for me, it's about my balance. And it took me a long time to work out what actually works for me. I think I actually try and I kick the ball around the ground better than I did at the start of my career. I mm. was a 50-50 goal kicker. Um, I tried experimenting with the way that great go- goal kickers uh, held the ball, and then at one stage in my career, I was counted my walking and then my running steps, and I, I just became too obsessed with it. And I eventually found the balance after years and years of work, and just trusted what I did. And I think that that is the art of goal kicking. Whether you Myself, Jeremy Cameron, or a Sava Radigalia that just kicks slightly mm. different to to me. Uh, he will he finds what he's good at, uh, and then he'll just be if he can consistently deliver, he'll become a better goal kicker. That's the start of some great conversations, yes. I reckon, with oh. the two of you. It's uh, nice to pair you up. Yeah. It's good. It's good Tom and Jack. Yeah. <laughs> good luck in Adelaide. Yeah. Jack and, and Easter Tom, Monday against say. the Hawks is always <laughs> tremendous. Right, right. top sure three Twitter moments. Come on, we've got a moment. Could they have gone for the after the science and not at three? That's West Coast. If I get beaten by Shea Bolton again, I'll be so far. Oh. <laughs> against Collingwood. Number two. Number two. Not number two. The Bombers. Oh, no. The Bombers just as if you run right to the oh, wire. Jack would have been there right with go. that. He likes so the Bombers. There we go. Jack is number one. Number one moment is... Uh, Shea Bolton. Oh, 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 Tommy! Oh, yeah. up Show. Oh, the most tweeted I'm about my boys here as well. Yeah. In the back. <laughs> what are the comments? Uh, oh, you want to read the comments, Tom? <laughs>